It's going to be a goal kick for Hounslow as they poofed up the field. It's going to be a win in the centre as well. No real challenge, but the ball does fall loose for a Langley player. As he's going to try and spread the ball, but he does hit the referee on the back of the head. It's going to ring from ear to ear, that one is for sure. He's going to feel that in the morning. But as you know, possession gets given straight back to Langley as they did hit the referee. So it's going to be a short free kick here as Coggill gets that ball forward, plays it to the right-hand side. And we're going to power forward now, try and get a little bit of movement going there. There's a good pass into the centre, but it's easy easily mopped up and it's going to be Hounslow with the possession but a very poor pass and a powerful run and a cut straight in through the back there with a great pass go all the way across but it goes out for a corner Langley get possession down this left hand side Boulevard's going to open up his body look that great vision finding the centre of an acres of space he's going to push a little bit forward now try and find the right pass but that's a poor touch in the centre a header away but Cargill does pick up that loose ball pass it to the right hand side allows him to create some space open his body up and look for that deadly diagonal pass the ball gets played over. It's a little bit too heavy this time, but Hounslow's defence just see that out, and it's going to be a goal kick. A high ball played up. He's a poor header away that's going to be picked up by the Langley striker. He does a little bit of dancing with his feet there. Looks like he's going to be on the next episode of Strictly with them moves, but he does give a foul away, unfortunately. Boulevard steps in front there, gets a quick kick to the shin. Referee's just going to calm things down. Both players in the wrong there. One taking it quick, the other one stepping in front of it. But calm down, and the free kick is going to be played. Wiley with a cheeky cut pass, finding Boulevard, who drops the shoulder and barges through. Shows great strength to knuckle off the midfielder. Plays the through ball through, but the goalkeeper's aware. Smothers that ball and ends the attack. Langley gained possession back. It's going to be played back to Nelson as well as he plays this ball out. Good clearance from him down this left-hand side. Good challenge from both players, but Langley do regain possession there. There's a nice little flick on there. Zach Pignon gets that ball, plays it forward. Great pace and agility from him as well, showing just what their legs and power have got in there. But it's a good clearance away from the Hounslow defender. It's going to be a corner as the ball gets whipped into a dangerous area. But Dorian's there and he gets the end and he gets the goal. You love to see that. A ball in the back of the net for Langley. A great execution and a great dead ball situation there as the ball finds the back of the net for Langley you can see that the set pieces are already paying off and the execution of that delivery of the ball was pinpoint perfect for Langley there and Noreen with a great header just flicking to the back of the net goalkeeper couldn't react in the time and you see a nice little goal there for Langley Langley fight to, to get this ball back and they draw a professional foul there by number three of Hounslow and it's going to be a clearance down the left hand side for Hounslow as well but it's going to be calmly done and easily done for Langley here as they just go straight back to Nelson again him showing his calm cool collective play there as he plays the ball to the centre off powers forward finds a nice little run on this right hand side and he's going to open his body up try to find the right pass over the top but unfortunately it's a wasted possession not even with the possession of the ball finds an open Wiley on this left hand side he's going to look down the wing finds a good pass to Ekpen Yong, who's going to push into the centre. Good dribbling there. Good link up play with the strikers. He moves the ball forward. Can't get the final balls. The interception from the Hounslow defender there. Gets him away. Tries to play it into the centre, but that's a very heavy touch. of Boulevon showing the aggression and the work rate to get that ball straight back from him as well. As he gets his head up, looks for the ball in the centre. An overlapping run. Cuts through as well. Of course, shots across the goal, but he's just dragged wide. And another fantastic attack from Langley. Hounslow looking to put a cross into the box, which they do. It's a big header away. It's going to be picked up, though, and it looks like he's going to try and strike the ball. It looks like it's a bit of a miss kick and a deflection. Falls straight back to his teammate. A little bit of steppos over there, but Cargill's just watching that easily done. Sees him, just watches the ball, and just deals that situation in hand, and it's cleared away. Guy Rukain gets that ball on his own off. Powers forward, dances past one play, and plays a through ball all the way down the right-hand side. It's going to be chased down, and it's a great execution on the tackle there to stop any attack from devolving. A strong press from Langley on this right-hand side. It's going to see the win possession of the ball back. A very poor tackle there from behind, but the referee's going to play it on as Boulevard picks that ball, strikes it, but he rifles it over the boy. It's a good chance, but can't get the execution down. Throwing on at the left-hand side is going to lead to Saber putting a good foot in there. Gain the ball back for Langley as they play this ball out and clear it away. And we're going to see Epping Young showing his skill again with them dancing feet. Tries a cut-through ball there, a clearance away, hits the player's hand, but the referee is going to wave off. No penalty. It's going to be a throw-in 
line for Langley on the right hand side is he going to push forward now showing the burst of agility that he has there another cut pass but it's going to be cleared away from the defender and another dangerous attack denied corner for Hounslow here they're going to put it into the box as they take a little bit of time on this one trying to execute it perfectly it's a good delivery in the box it's a header away not the best of clearance but it is dealt with by a Langley defence in the end there a ball over the top to Guy Ukeyim is going to push forward now in acres of space as he drills a ball across the box missed by the defender but it's just behind the striker who can't get it but the defender clears it away only finding Wiley who's going to show off a little bit of footwork now drilling past the defender plays a good ball into Savi who's just going to calmly react to what's going on here back to Wiley finds Akpenyong on the wing now just going to get his head up have a look as he tries to play a ball through but it's a little bit heavy and unfortunately not executed well It's going to be a Hounslow free kick as the usual player to step his 10 yards out. He's going to pump this one into the box. It's a great clearance away from a tall header away, but it does fall a Hounslow wing it as he's going to play the ball in. Good ball movement, good feet from him as well. Just darts past his player, tries to get a ball into the box. He whips it in, but that's an easy claim for Nelson all day. No hassle there whatsoever. He runs out, but he calms himself down, looks around, plays a roll out and just lets Langley reshape. Big strength for Guy Rukim as he pushes off a defender and just plays it on the wing to Dennis as he's going to push forward now showing a burst of acceleration, dances past the player, strikes a ball but straight down the goalkeeper's throat, an easy one for it. Ball floating around the halfway line, it's going to be a good challenge from both players there but you're going to see Cargill come away with that ball, does well to find a good pass to Agpenyong who just does one defender, cuts past another one as well, puts the Jets on and finds a great pass to Dennis in acres of space, takes a great first touch, opens his body up and slots the ball away from what a fantastic finish. It's a great goal from Langley there. Well played. Got to give a lot of credit to Ekpeng Young there with a great execution of the ball there. But that finish from Dennis, great play from him. Opens it up. And I think that backflip is pretty special. Just like the goal as well. As the Langley teammates congratulate him as they get two goals on the board. Dennis finds himself on the score sheet. Hazel going to push, try get a goal. Here's a through ball through. Langley call for offside, but Nelson comes charging out. He doesn't matter. He calls off an absolute amazing charging save. There's a little bit of shoulder barges there. Nothing to it. Sava picks up that ball, just controlling the tempo of this game right now. Open his body up, calming it down, slowing it down as he finds a great switch to Wiley down this left-hand side. He's going to link up with Penyong, moving it forward. He's going to cut in, finds a great pass as well. Cuts the body across, opens his body up and slots it away. It's a great goal. Goal from Bull of Van. Unbelievable play as well. The feet that these boys have got right now is unbelievable. The cutting in, the agility to move on to one foot. And I think that was a Meg there as he sent the defender for a hot dog before half time. Unbelievable finish from Langley. Ball played down the wing by Hanslow, but it's going to be a misplaced pass as Sava picks up that ball. Ball in the air. Sava yet again dictating that pace. Tries to draw the foul, but referee says play on. A good tackle in there as well. But then the feet, absolutely brilliant there. Tiptoeing around, draws a foul, and Sava just tries to wind up the crowd and the opposition there by giving him a little clap. A loose ball picked up by Guy Ukeim as he pushes forward. Now putting the Jets on, finds a good ball to Akpenyon as he gets the ball through, strikes it, but it just gets underneath his foot and it just drives it off target. A big clearance up front by Noreen as he gets it through. Guy Ukeim picks up that ball, showing his strength. A little dink over the top as well. He's going to see Bullafon pushing forward, dribbles through, a bit of pinball. Referee, I don't know, the ref has not given a penalty there. I know there's a tangle of free balls. I think that was a penalty, but the ref waves play on. Stroke of half time is just around the corner and it's going to be a good half for Langley right now. Three fantastic and amazing goals. The corner and the two slotted away finishes are brilliant from this side. Just showing the grit and determination that they've got and why they are candidates for going up this season. Second half kicks off and it's a clearance up by Hounslow. It's going to be an easy one for Mohammed to just pick that ball up and dart forward down the wing. Using a little bit of pace, showing the speed there as he cuts back, finds the right pass into the centre. It's going to be an easy one for Hounslow to deal with the situation here. But it's good start into the second half. Ball drilled in, a nice heady control, finding himself in space. He's going to beat the defender. It's a great ball into the box, but it's cleared away for the defender. Langley with possession on the left-hand side. Finds a good pass into the centre. Good ball rolls, finding Savi in the centre there. In Absolute acres of space, rifles a shot through, but just drags it wide of the post. Possession for Hounslow in the centre here, but Bullafon with unbelievable. 
unbelievable tracking back. The work rate on this man is absolutely phenomenal. As once again, they're going to close down, put the high pressure on. As you see there, Sava gaining stuck in. Finds a great ball through. Chips it on. Little Dink finding himself in acres of space on this left-hand side. Can he get a board ball in? As he's going to take a touch, take his time as he whips it in. A bit of a pencil header there from Cargill, but he just gets cleared away. It's going to be a free kick for Lang. It looks like Boulevard is standing over this one. The right foot is going to rattle it in. It hits the wall, but it's going to be seconds for Langley. Hounslow pushed forward, gets a cheeky little Megs there, but Nelson, quick off the mark, high alert, and I tell you what, his anticipation is absolutely top draw, and the execution of his throws and distribution is very well from Nelson. Fair play to him as the ball gets played through. That's a great pass through to the ball, and the referee is give offside. I'm dubious on that one. Great footwork there from the Hounslow, but you see a great tackle from Mwami. Just watched him and Savas there to mop up as well. As Mwami gets that ball through, plays a ball over the top. This time he's got to be onside surely as the ball gets played through. He's going to try and whip this ball in in a quick succession as he gets it back. He doesn't. He cuts it back, finds a good pass and Oak is a space here. Cuts into the box. Good little step back there. Tries to the shot across. He's a good save from the goalkeeper. Parry is out. Couple of substitutions now for Langley as we're going to see Jaden, Celestine, Charles and Jevon Fletcher coming onto the field. Can these make a difference in this match? Savit is going to get that ball, plays it over the top. Another very tight call from the linesman there. Game seems to be spicing up a little bit now as a few heavy tackles are being leaded on. Just a bit left in on the tackles as well as the ball gets played in. It's going to be a misplaced pass as we're going to get the ball. It's a heavy tackle from behind. Ref waves play on though. Ball in the box for Langley. Salasini Charles gets that ball but slices it away. It's a big chance gone begging for Langley there. A heavy tackle gets lunged in there. The referee does blow the whistle from it as Akenle just moves that ball around. Player can't get it. Just wasting time a little bit. A little hitting with the smiles at the end there. Just show good sportsmanship from him. Referee just calms it down, understands, explains the situation, but nothing to it. Ball's going to be played over the top for Langley here. Looks like it's an offside. Again, the ruling given to Hounslow this time as the free kick's going to be taken. It looks like we're going to step over the ball. It is. It's a bit of a poor one there from Thomas. He's going to get a yellow card for that. Interfering with the play. Referee is having none of it. You can't do that in a game of football. It's going to be a yellow card for Thomas. Ball in the centre from Sava finds on Kenler. He's going to take a touch, hits it with his right foot. It's a great strike, just goes over the crossbar. Fantastic play. Thomas picks up that ball on the left-hand side. Ball rolls, shows his feet, shows his control, telling the manager, why aren't you starting me in the start 11? As he finds a great pass through to Salasine Charles, who opens his body up, finds a ball and slots it away. It's a great finish from Salasine Charles, making up for that slice shot that he missed in the previous highlights. He's a great play as well and a great goal and just shows what Langley are capable of. Ball bounces over and it looks like it's going to be a leap over the top and Thomas is going to be given a free kick there. Not too sure about that one. It was a bit of a thing but he's got to be careful as if he tried to step in front of that he could have got another yellow card. He is already on a yellow card as it looks like on Kendler is going to have a little bit of 50 cuffs. I don't know why they're just holding hands there. A little bit of a shove there. Referee should do something about that. I know they're holding hands but just a shove there but it's going to be another yellow for on Kendler and one for the Hounslow. Set at number four. As the ball gets whipped in from the goalkeeper, bounces over the top, and Nelson's there to just mop that up, go down, waste a bit of time. The ball gets cleared away, and on that note, the referee's going to blow at the full time whistle. Four fantastic goals from Langley, and I hope you have enjoyed the Hounslow versus Langley highlights. Thank you very much for watching. Right. Um, you're telling me that I'm That's no one else's fault other than a defensive error. Unless you, unless you, unless Admiral put yourself in the game. I have one thing on me, and like he had all the time in the world. I'm not saying that you came on with poorly, but it's, mad, it's game management. I understand you want to come on, you want to prove now I can score and all that, but it's not about that. It's not about that. I'll already come on give me a, and, and be able to game, manage the game, then I can say, yeah, look, you came on, you did what I did. I don't need my strikers, my forwards coming on in the last 10 minutes, but everyone get all strikes, we're 3 goals. Still trying to get more goals, more goals. We're 3 1 up. 4 2 up. But we're still trying to, every time we get it, just keep the ball. Just keep the ball. We, got, we had 60 minutes by keeping the ball. I hear them talk about double digits. I didn't want double digits. I didn't want double digits. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want double digits. But it should have been. Yeah, it should, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, it should be. Excellent. Yeah, but anyway, conduct on the pitch is a little bit better. You don't need to be saying that. It don't matter. He's a bigger man. He's a younger boy. He's a bigger man losing his head. He's anyway, anyway, shh. Put your tops on and do your warm down. Hey, hello. Shh. Put your tops on and do your warm down. Let's go.
winning 4 3, full term. What's your thoughts on the second half performance? I would say it's a first question. Our, our game management just wasn't good. Um, I think the distances between the, the attack and defence weren't great. I mean, the field wasn't great. Um, I think we didn't um, assess the situation. They decided they put two up. They decided just going diagonal and then flicks. So obviously, they always had two occupying the centre back. So we should probably have two centre midfielders that were sitting in front. But what we needed to go was more like a 4 2 3 run. Um, for our wingers that came on, obviously, as you do as a sub, you want to kind of prove that you should be starting, you want to get your goals, obviously that's what attackers do, they want to get their goals, so um, I think um, yeah, that affects us a little bit, try to get everyone minutes, but you know, as the season goes on, we've got to win games, so it is what it is. Perfect, so the next game gets back to Tuesday, things you're looking to improve on? Just um, it's the game management, I said to you, the game management, um, as I said, we always score goals, we always score goals, we're a very creative team, um, we always score goals, it's just the, the game management. It was the last one where they scored their three goals last 20 minutes. I think it's just staying switched on um, because it was it did become a little bit easy at one stage, and I think you can get complacent with that. Um, and you should still just stay that I mean, be proactive and stay quite alert. And I think we wasn't we didn't do that. So just yeah. working on um, concentration, game management, and just keeping it simple at times.